I thank the member uh, from California for yielding. Uh, and I thank the committee for having this hearing, but I want to give some credit to uh, Governor Peter Shumlin of Vermont. He did something extremely unusual. He dedicated his entire State of the State address to this single problem. And that was a bold decision for two reasons. One, most of the time, the State of the State is a laundry list of objectives and hopes. This got very specific about one topic. But second, in taking this on, he made public what people knew was real but didn't want to acknowledge. And what we've seen in Vermont as a result of that was that we're facing what is a terrible problem with, that creates enormous anxiety for the folks that are in the grip of this addiction, but their families. And before we began talking about this, it was restricted to our law enforcement folks and our mental health folks who were dealing with these isolated individuals as though they were the only ones in the world that faced this incredible challenge. And what Governor Shumlin did is he brought it out in the open, and that was in large part because in his travels around, and governors do get around, he was talking to our law enforcement people like Chief Taylor uh, in St. Albans, uh, like Chief Baker in Rutland, and they were dealing on the street with kids that they knew and with adults that they knew who had jobs but had this horrible addiction and they had to deal with it. And what our police kept saying, who have frontline responsibilities, you cannot arrest your way out of this. And there is a distinction <clears throat> that they make between the dealers who came from out of state and started afflicting our kids and others uh, with this uh, opiate addiction. Uh, you know, throw the book at them, forget about them. But a lot of the kids who are in the grip, they're our kids. They've got a future. They've got a challenge. And what has happened in our communities with the leadership of our police and our mental health people uh, and our mayors like Liz Gamache in St. Albans uh, and like Chris Loris in Rutland is that by bringing this out into the open, it's helped us talk about this in concrete ways so that there's not only the treatment program, the hub and spoke program, which I hope you might talk about, <clears throat> uh, but it also is allowing parents in the community to see this as something where we all have to be engaged to provide some basis of support for these kids uh, and adults who want not to be in the grip of this uh, horrible opiate addiction. Uh, so I thank you, uh, uh, the committee, for having this hearing and making it a, a collective effort to try to bring our resources together to help uh, people get whole. Thank you. The gentleman yields back.